So um, I have another story. Speaking of Elon's stuff, uh, it was kind of funny. There's been this whole debate last week or in the recent history, I guess, where people are couldn't figure out if what they were building in Boca Chica with SpaceX, if it was a water tower or a launch mount. Because I, I don't know if you guys have seen the the stuff. There, there's been, oops, yeah, there's been yeah. a, there's been a you know water tower or whatever, and. Uh, looking thing being built and people are debating is it a water tower or a launch pad and then so I did a thing and almost immediately Elon gets back and says then settles the debate <laughs> that it is an orbital launch mount and then everybody's like oh go vote I know it now yeah yeah <laughs> the, the votes got skewed and that's I responded to him like way to ruin my poll <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah well, so cool. So what they're building out there in, in Boca Chica, let me maybe, I mean, if you guys haven't seen it, just look it up. I'm not even going to bother showing because it's such a quick little news bit. But yeah, they're working on the orbital launch mount. But Elon did say um, that, you know, there was a, a little bit of time where he was talking about um, launching from, you know, launching from the ground basically is feasible for a little bit. So we, we should see, because they're working on a sea launch platform eventually. Mm-hmm. But for the first couple, there we will see super heavy fly likely the full stack super heavy fly from Boca Chica, which will be the most insane thing wow. you'll probably ever witness with your own eyes. Because mm-hmm. I don't think they'll be able to clear the island. Thirty nine A later, eventually maybe. But I wouldn't be surprised if once they prove it out and do all the stuff they need to do with development and how to launch and everything, if they just commit to sea launch platforms and. Just do it all from sea launch, you know, maybe outside of Kennedy Space Center and stuff like that. But which is a bit of a shame as far as viewing. Like it sucks that like it could probably be over the horizon. You know, you won't actually see it launching at first. You might see like a little thing. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's a bit of a shame. So the ones at Boca Chica will be the ones that will be like absolutely it's all good. insane. We got boats, you know. We almost got Florida's the got uh, boats. the the dragon capsule last time. We're good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Florida's got boats, <laughs> and that won't spark any of the conspiracy nutters either. Saying right, oh, I know. Out there, you can't even see it. I it's went out on a boat. I saw nothing. Yeah, dude, you're in California. <laughs> this took off in Florida. Yeah, but I was still on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's kind of that update. Just quick and quick and dirty for you guys. That's cool. Yeah, it's been fun watching what's going on in Boca Chica, just watching it grow and the speculation, trying to figure out what this is and what that is. And, and mm-hmm. you know, with this hurricane that just blew through, I look at some of these like bays that are out there and these tents and I'm just like, I mean, I know this particular hurricane isn't going anywhere near it, thankfully, but um, there will be more. <laughs> you know, it worries and me. That sounds frankly. like an area where hurricanes would go or could go. Yeah. Do I mean, go. One good one. I don't. I don't. Sorry, I'm not trying to be all negative and everything, but that that worries me. Well, oh, what course. is the real? Okay, so the real value of what they're doing down there. I don't. I mean, in my I guess impression isn't that the physical thing they created is the valuable thing. It's the lessons that they learned. It, it seems mm-hmm. a bit like the manufacturing of it is pretty straightforward, and it's more about the techniques that they're kind of refining. Am I wrong? It's. It's the well, fact no. that they have their own land to be able to just quickly iterate, build something like right down the street, take it out to a pad, test it, do back and forth. We're seeing them ship stuff back and forth down this little road all the time with like almost no real, you know, impediments. And if you did this type of thing out at Kennedy Space Center and an active Air Force Base, like there's going to be a lot more considerations and it'd be a lot harder to just be able to do stuff at this pace and without like, yeah. Joe, you're about to say something too? No. <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, because the whole thing they're trying to do right now is just figure this stuff out. Figure out the the sequences, figure out the, you know, the all how you fuel it up, how you blah blah blah, how you disconnect from the rocket, how you blah 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 blah, right? And then once they figure that out and make it routine and so to the point where it's not like we're sitting there watching a scrub a thousand times, then guess what? <laughs> then the next then do it until you get to that point and then add complication. So then make it three Raptors, then add the flaps, then add upgraded landing legs. Like just yeah. solve one problem first and actually solve it and not just like do it once, like make it repeatable, you know, reliable and something that you can actually do and then add complication. So that's the whole thing is they're just able to iterate down there like crazy. Um. So, yeah. So and by the way, they did. Uh, we didn't even talk about this. They did static fire seal number six this week. 
I had I had pulled my crew out because they had done two scrubs that day. Yeah. But on the first day that they were attempting to do a static fire, they did end up static firing within a, a one day window. So that's an improvement because a lot of times they'll be like, hey, we're, we're doing a static fire today. Yeah. All day they'll sit out there trying to static fire and they, you know, nothing ever ends up happening. So this was, I think this might have been one of the first times they've actually said we're going to static fire this day and done it on the first day. Sure, it took three times, but that's showing that improvement of like, oh, we're actually like kind of starting to solve some of these problems. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.